Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Today's video is going to be quite a bit different than any other video that I've posted on this channel. I'm just going to jump right in with the context before I show you a short clip of something. Um, basically, somebody reached out to me via my submissions email and they said that they had just gone against a TTV and they went to their stream um, and saw them, you know, saying a bunch of slurs and stuff. Uh, but the streamer um, disables VOD so they couldn't get a clip of it and whatnot. Um, so they started recording. Um, before they started recording, they heard the streamer talking to somebody they were playing with. Now, this isn't somebody the streamer knew very well. It was either one of the streamer's viewers or somebody they had just met in the game. And they were on a Discord call. And the streamer, I guess, heard the person talking and thought they sounded gay. So asked them if they were gay and made some comments. And then right after that is when the recording started. So then you hear the person say, I'm leaving. I don't want to deal with homophobia. And then the streamer just kind of goes off um, on a, a short tangent, calling them slurs and saying that he hates gay people. I'll play you the clip real quick. Just a warning. There is homophobia and slurs, but here you go. I'm gonna make a new VC, a new swear. Uh, I like to have everyone talking to you. Don't worry, precious. I'm leaving. Don't want to deal with homophobia. All right, thanks, faggot. Don't want to deal with homophobia. Like, nigga, shut your ass up. You gay? You take dick in the asshole. Don't ever speak to me like that tone again. Fuck, nigga. I hate gay people, bro. I saw this clip and it just made me feel really bad. Uh, not just for this person involved, but also just for all gay people and members of the LGBT community who just have to deal with this stuff so often, just getting ridiculed and bullied and shunned. And it's just, it's really sad that this occurs and that there's so many people that still don't understand why we have Pride Month. You know, when, when you clearly see people like this struggling with being open about who they are and trying to be proud of who they are and then they get treated this way. So if you're somebody who is anti-pride or anti-pride month, just understand that this doesn't happen to straight people. I struggled with how to make a, how I wanted to make a video about this because I don't have a lot of clips from this. The streamer turns off all their VODs because they're a fucking coward. You know, and I'm sure if that streamer sees this, they're going to be, you know, they're going to call me a snowflake and call anybody who did, didn't like what they said, call him a snowflake, even though this fucking piece of shit is the one who's like offended by the way someone chooses to live their life and their sexual preferences. Tell like, how are you not a snowflake? Like it, I, these people blow my mind. But anyways, I, I wanted to make a video about this because it bothered me so much and I really would like to find the person that this happened to, this individual. Um, I didn't show their name in the clip for a couple reasons. Um, the first is because if they do see this or if someone they know sees this and they reach out to me, I'll know it's actually them because they can tell me their username. If I show their name, then trolls could just pretend to be them and then say, yeah, it was me and it might not actually be them. And the other reason is just because if any weirdos happen to see this, I don't want them going and spreading any unnecessary you know, saying other shit to try to get under their skin because I know that there are trolls out there. It's the internet. So I, I didn't want to show their name, but just in case they do or you do see this, if you're watching this or if any friends of this person sees this video, I would love to get in contact with this person. I would love to swift with them, play games with them, whether it's on stream or off stream. And also, uh, if you're watching this or if any of the friends are watching this, I would love to do a fundraising stream uh, for the charity of your choice. Um, so, and that could be while we're playing games together. It could be separate if you don't want to put yourself out there. Totally understandable. But I would just love to show you that there are people who are accepting and want to play with you. You know, I, I would imagine if somebody goes to this, they might just not ever try making friends or playing games with people in this community again because they don't want to deal with this treatment. So, yeah, I just wanted to extend that out there. If If you're out there, if you see this somehow... Or if, again, if any of this person's friends wants to let them know, I would love to play games with you. I would love to swift with you. It doesn't have to be on stream. It can be on or off. And I would love to do a, a fundraising stream for whatever charity 
you would like. This video is not monetized, and if I make any follow-up or update videos regarding the situation, those videos will not be monetized either. I genuinely don't want to gain anything from the situation. I just want to find who this person is, maybe play some games with them, and make them feel more welcome in the Dead by Daylight community. That's all. So... If you're out there or if you know this person, let me know. Uh, you can message me in the email below or in Twitter DMs or Twitch whispers, wherever. I'm, I'm available on a lot of different platforms, so please reach out. And aside from that, I really hope that none of you guys treat anybody this way or get treated this way. I know that it does happen and it happens more than it should. So I love you guys. Be kind. And if there's any updates with this, I will let you know.